Well, it's no longer about left and right. It's about democracy and it's about defending democracy and it's about the people versus some kind of a globalist elite or whatever. Uh, that's what this is really about. My dad, kind of, yeah, he fought in World War II. Uh, he was drafted when he was 16, so he, he was basically a, a kid himself. Uh, he was released the end of 46, and then he realized, I am now sitting in communism. And it was like, you know, the, the German Democratic Republic is what they were going to be called. I mean, he was just a farmer's boy in, in a small, you know, kind of village. So, and these, these party meetings they had there, he just went there and asked questions trying to expose their contradictory behavior, you know. But it didn't, didn't go that well for him. Uh, as you can imagine, he was arrested in uh, 1950, and uh, he was sentenced to 25 years of hard labor to Bautzen, which is one of the most horrific political prisons you can imagine. We are not quite there yet, but they are preparing for it. And uh, as, it, as the process moves along, the measures they will have to take to get their way uh, will have to be more intense. And we are seeing that now. And uh, when, when you look at some, some scenes, I remember a lady in, in Berlin, she, she was just standing there and holding uh, a copy of the German Grundgesetz, the, the German constitution. And she was being taken down by police. Can you imagine? So simply standing there, upholding the German, literally upholding the German constitution results in police violence against you? Are you guys serious? This is what you call democracy now? So while at the same time, you know, that the people that were protesting were being called, they are anti-state, they're unconstitutional, they want to overthrow this. No, these people were trying to uphold the constitution. So, uh, and once again, you see this shift, the ones actually abolish, trying to abolish fundamental principles in our constitutions. Uh, yeah, they're the ones claiming, you know, to uphold it. It's ridiculous. And uh, looking at my father, at my dad, so if I didn't, wasn't willing to do what he was willing to do under these circumstances back then, uh, what kind of a Democrat would I be?